And this is the first time me talking to anyone about this situation, truly. Anyone. Air. The True Memoirs of Gilsi Alisea is a documentary about a young man who, as a teenager, wrote a book titled The Air Down Here, about his life and the struggles of living with parents who are HIV positive. Fifteen years later, director and producer Hilton Ariel Ruiz was inspired to share Alisea's story through film. Today, Ruiz is celebrating its premiere at the first Long Island Hispanic Film Festival in Hempstead. I read, I read the book, and when I finished reading the book, I said, wow. There was a big piece of me that felt that I, I had to really tell the story because it, you know, it had to do also with the Latin community. Me, me being Latin, I felt that I should, could be a voice to show this story and share it to everybody. Um, and I, and I really felt that, again, you know, the story wasn't just about Latinos, but it was a universal story and how, you know, still AIDS and HIV still affects people. Um, and it's something that we shouldn't forget about. Ruiz hopes the film will encourage people to talk more in depth about the virus and how it impacts lives. While he is here to address the Hispanic community at this festival, knowing that he learned of the book's popularity in Germany, he finds it's an uphill challenge to generate interest from within the Latino population. No one wanted to pick it up in, um, in, in the Latin community, in the Latin world. Uh, my book is not in Spanish. My book was able to be sold in um, Germany, and Germany thought it was a great idea. And it was, hey, a Latin guy, you know, uh, doing some uh, with a book published and stuff like that. And you would think it would be easier. Co-producer Kirk Goodall recalls some of the obstacles they faced during the production of Air and is happy to call it a finished product today. This project was a roller coaster. If you've ever been to Great Adventure, that's exactly what it was. You had ups, you had downs. But after day three, I said, okay, there's something going on here. This is definitely something that's noteworthy. This is definitely something that the people are going to want to see. The producers would like to see the independent film become an educational tool viewed in more than just academic centers. It can be very educational, passed around through maybe high schools, through different, you know, maybe even churches also because you're dealing with the AIDS situation. And not just for the Latin community, it's very important for the Latin community, but everybody to get an experience out of this. You can learn from the situation, seeing someone go from a, a very tragic situation and then talking about it and using it as therapy to, in an attempt to try and heal yourself through these type of things that you go through as a child. El Circolo de la Hispanidad's Long Island Hispanic Film Festival, held in October, addresses issues that the Hispanic as well as the non-Hispanic community can relate to and learn from. With us having this film festival, I think it's a way to reach out to the community. Um, it's, it's a way to empower these children and also bring enrichment into the areas of our communities. To learn more about AIR, True Memoirs of Gilsi Alisea, visit airmemoirs.com. And to learn more about the celebration of Hispanic filmmakers or for more information on submitting a film for next year's festival, visit lihff.com. From Hempstead, this is Bianca Velez.